guys, it's February now and that means it's almost Valentine's Day. This, in some weird way, is one of my favorite holidays just because all of the stores are selling heart-themed stuff and pink stuff. I could really take or leave Valentine's Day, but all the heart stuff, yes please. Today we're going to just do a couple of just fun, cute, easy to make things to give the people that you care about in your life. I'm gonna start out with this cute little heart package of candies. It's just so easy to make and I would be pretty excited to get this from somebody. There's just something about a little gift that somebody took the time to make. To me, that's a really special thing to do for someone, even if it's small and silly and cute like this. For this, grab some construction paper, grab some candy, whatever candy you want. I chose M&Ms because I'm not a huge candy fan, but I do occasionally like me some M&Ms. Some scissors, a baggie. You're also going to need a hot glue gun. First, you're going to cut a heart out of the construction paper. Now, after I did this, I took this heart and laid it on top of the blank construction paper, traced around this heart to keep them the same, and cut that one out as well. When you're done cutting your second heart out, you're going to cut the center out of it, like so. Now lay your little candies into the heart. Kind of make it heart-shaped because it's a little difficult to candy wrangle at this point. As you can see, I spent a good minute wrangling some candy into a heart shape. Now cut the baggie in half. Take the glue gun and glue this baggie to the heart. The glue from the glue guns dries really fast and I totally forgot about that because I honestly haven't used a glue gun since I was like 10. I wound up having to do it kind of section by section, which was fine and it wouldn't be quite as messy the second time around. But I wanted to share that with you because I like to share the mistakes that I make with you too, so you don't make them. When your glue dries, cut the excess baggie off and grab your cutout heart, place it over the baggie and glue that on. Now you're done and you can just use the back to write a little message to whoever you're giving this to and there it is. The next little Valentine project we're doing is a little heart envelope. When your Valentine opens this, it's in the shape of a heart. You're going to take your construction paper or whatever paper you have, again, and cut out a heart. Try to make this a wider heart with a less pointy bottom. Now you're going to take the two edges of the heart and fold them in. Then take the top of your heart, fold it down so the corners meet the previously folded edges. Flip this over and take the point of your heart and turn it into a little envelope. I used a little heart sticker. Now you can write a cute little note like I did. Add anything you want. You can make this envelope in any size, which has infinite possibilities. If you made this bigger and taped it down, you could even send this in the mail, which would be such a nice little thing to get on Valentine's Day. Now we're going to make little DIY bows that you can put onto cards or presents. I use these year round for Christmas and birthdays. They definitely add that little personal touch in my opinion and they're so easy to make they take like a minute flat so let's go. So again you're going to take whatever paper you're using and cut out these three shapes. I like to draw the shapes out before I cut them out because it is definitely a little easier on your brain. Do what you will but that's my suggestion. Teeny little bar, a little wavy bra looking shape. I don't know, that's what I thought. And then this little shape that I cannot come up with a name for. Now take this shape and fold it in on itself, just like this. Put a dab of glue. I used a glue gun because I know for a fact it works better, but you could use a glue stick or some tape works really well too. Glue stick would be my last resort though because you know how things kind of come unstuck with a glue stick? We all know it, we all been there. Let's try to avoid that. Now grab this first folded shape and place it on top of your other cutout shape. Glue that on with just another tiny little dot of glue. Or if you're using tape, you could just roll a piece of tape into a circle so both sides are sticky and then just stick that on. Now take your tiny little cutout bar, wrap it around the center of these two and glue that in place. and you're done. Like I said, I love using these as gift bows. You can make these any size you like, or if you are doing the whole Valentine card thing, which I think 
is a lost art. If you're over like the age of 12, you probably aren't doing that anymore, but I think we should. Let's start a movement. You could take a little cutout heart and just glue that like so. And then right on the back of your heart. Kind of looks like a box of chocolates, which I really like. You could do so many things with these bows. Probably one of my favorite little crafts. Okay guys, I really appreciate you guys watching as always. Join me every Friday if you'd like for a variety of videos. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, all that jazz. Happy Valentine's Day guys, and I will see you soon. Bye. I'm gonna go through everything you need to know about making lip balm or lip gloss out of cooling.